Amazon is betting big on automation. Internal planning documents suggest that by 2033, the company could be selling twice as many products, but with far fewer human workers. That shift alone could result in up to 600,000 fewer hires in the U.S. than would otherwise be needed, reshaping a significant portion of the workforce at one of the country's largest employers. But what does that really mean for workers and for the future of labor? There are certain job functions where robots will go in and replace people. Dr. Henrik Christensen runs UCSD's Robotics Institute. He says the story isn't about robots replacing people, it's about filling gaps. We're taking away what I would call dirty, dull, and dangerous jobs. So we're not killing jobs, we're displacing jobs, we're moving them to other job functions where they're more valuable. And here at UCSD, researchers say they're building the next generation of robots designed to work with humans. This is a humanoid robot. We sort of call it Dr. Robot. And the idea is that you can now send out this humanoid to be the remote presence of a doctor so they can actually do remote surgery. So it's a way of making the best surgeons available anywhere in the world. To support farmers across the country facing severe labor shortages, the team is building robotic hands that can gently harvest fruit right off the vine. You can see it's very, it's sort of very flexible here, but very stiff in this direction. And we've done it by just using very regular measurement tape to do this. From lightweight drones inspired by nature, modeled after bee wings, to autonomous golf carts and scooters, and six-legged walkers made from 3D printers. Dr. Christensen says robotics combined with AI could power a new economy. We're building much more interesting robots. So I think we're using this to grow the economy in the U.S. and elsewhere. Here at UCSD, robotics research is moving fast, highlighting both the potential and the uncertainty around the future of human jobs. Brian White, CBSA.